this uh, afternoon. We got about four hours uh, daylight left. We're going to come up into the mountains here. We're going to look at some of the different types of rock. We're going to be looking at some igneous, some metamorphic, and some, uh, some sedimentary, if we're lucky enough to find them all. Uh, I know in these mountains we've got a lot of igneous, we've got a lot of volcanic rock. found some really nice granite outcrops here, so I want to go over the uh, some of the differences between granite and a volcanic, or like which is a rhyolite and andesite. So granite forms interlocking large crystals, and if you look down here, you can see how some of these these crystals are interlocking. Uh, they're large. You can see as you pull them away, they, they form uh, blocks of crystals. Okay. A very good example of a volcanic uh, basalt igneous rock. Okay. So basalt and other volcanics of rhyolite and so forth are uh, much stronger rocks. Uh, doesn't look like as I'm just pulling it off, right? This is all stuff that is already broken up, weathered out. Um, what is interesting about it, though, is this is all very fine grain. Okay, you can you can't really see the crystal blocks that you can see in granite um, when this is all broken off. Uh, if I were to take like this chunk right here and bust it open. Okay. You're only seeing little, very fine grain stuff. Okay, it's not coarse crystals. See, very fine grains. No big crystals in that. Okay, that's the big difference between a uh, volcanic that solidifies at or near the surface and a granite which solidifies much slower in a buried uh, condition where it has time to grow those large crystals.